ladies and gents. Today we're going to work on my station wagon and I want to show you how to remove broken off head bolts from a Vortec 4200 or the uh, four or five cylinder. Um, it sort of applies to all of them. Now anybody that has dealt with one of these engines, whether they've taken it apart or worked on it otherwise, probably knows that the head bolts are famous for snapping off when you try to remove them. So the engine that is in my station wagon, uh, I've literally snapped all 14 bolts off. So first thing you're going to need is one of these, which is a left hand drill bit and extractor kit. Buy a brand new one of these. Even if you have a set on hand, um, yours might be dull and it's really important to have sharp drill bits because it makes the job a whole lot easier. Now I normally start with the, uh, the number two size and you will chuck the left-handed drill bit up in your drill. It's important that you drill through the center of the bolt because you don't want to damage the thread. And also the center of the bolt is the softest part of the bolt and you don't want to go dulling your drill bit for no reason. I've already gotten two of the bolts out already. Um, but I'm going to show you on the next one. First, I like to vacuum out. Uh, there may be oil or coolant that has made its way down into the hole. So I like to vacuum it out. And then basically I take my drill bit and I try to line it up with the center of the bolt and make it as square as possible. Make sure you are running the drill uh, counterclockwise or else the uh, drill bit isn't going to work too well. It's okay if you run it a little bit crooked. It's not like we're tapping the hole and it has to be 100% uh, square. It just helps. Next, take your vacuum. And vacuum it out. Now I'm going to take my extractor and what I do is I stick it down into the hole I just drilled and then you take a hammer and you set the extractor. So just light and look at this, I can just turn the thing out by hand. This is uh, just about what to come out with the uh, left hand drill bit but and voila we have our bolt extracted. This really isn't that complicated and if you get into a situation where your extractor starts to um, strip out, you can uh, go to the next larger size uh, in your extractor set. As you can see, I'm using the second smallest kit and I've actually, uh, you can see I've welded a nut. Uh, I, I think I broke that off at one point. So from here, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. This really isn't very complicated. I think I lost one of the broken off bolts, but this is what victory looks like. <laughs> 